Welcome to the Green Wasp Removal YouTube channel. Here on April 15th of 2024, we're going to show you some of our local Polistes wasp residents on the property. You're going to see inside this birdhouse a Polistes fuscatus who's in the process of building a nest. We rescued a couple of fuscatus from the barn a couple weeks ago and introduced them to this birdhouse, but we're not sure if they stayed or if these are other similar species that moved in. Either way, we put these birdhouses out just to attract wasps like this, and as you can see, they're beginning to build nests inside the birdhouse, which is great. You can see an egg here in this nest, possibly a young larva already. There's about two or three, maybe four cells being built so far. Looks like a nice healthy nest, and we're glad to see this one active here in the birdhouse. Hopefully it'll stay throughout the season and be pretty well protected from predators in this enclosed space. Most Polistes wasps like this they prefer some type of relatively protected space, so they'll build nests inside soffits or sheds or, as you see here, birdhouses, sometimes out in the open underneath eaves if it's protected enough. Another nest that we've been featuring this season is inside this toy box. As you can see here, the Polistes fuscatus here, the northern paper wasps, one of our native beneficial insects in this area, is entering through the back of the toy box and this one's working with a co-foundress. So as you'll see here, there are two female foundresses. One is dominant, one is more of a worker. One is laying most of the eggs, if not all the eggs probably, and the other one is supporting her as they build it. Just the other day, it was only one cell. Now, just a few days later, we have multiple cells, multiple eggs, and as you can see in the top of the nest, there's some nectar being stored in here, which is sort of a wasp honey made from local plant nectar, and they regurgitate that into the cell as a food source for the adult wasps. It's not for the eggs, it's just for the adult wasp, and they'll use it for energy and hydration. Sometimes we'll put water in there, other times we'll put in nectar. They picked the perfect place to live here because it's protected, it's safe. The problem is we're going to have to relocate them anyway because it just happens to be a toy box, and we don't want the kids that go in there to get stung during the summertime, so... This one will have to go later. We're going to let it get established first, and once it is, we'll go ahead and move it. Meanwhile, another nest that's being built just a few feet away underneath the eaves is from a Polistes dominula. She's a European paper wasp foundress, or queen, and she's collecting wood pulp here from the barn eaves. And she's going to mix this with her saliva, and she'll create kind of a paste, and that paste is what they build the nest with. So you see her working away here, and she'll chew up a ball until it's about the size she wants to fly with, and then she'll kind of tuck it underneath her chin or her mandibles, and she'll fly it back to the nest and start working on the nest with it. And she'll use her mandibles to form it into the cells you see on the open comb of a paper wasp nest. So here she's getting ready to take off with the ball she has collected. And we'll show you here what that looks like when she brings it back to the nest and begins to mold it around the edge of the first cell she's constructing on this nest. As you can see here, she uses her mandibles to mold the material, and she'll press along the edge of that cell to extend it until she feels like it's large enough to contain the egg she will lay in there. And there'll be one egg laid in each cell as she constructs the nest. She appears to be working alone right now, but there may be a co-foundress out there somewhere who's collecting wood fiber helping her out and maybe we'll see that later but for now we only saw this one foundress working on this nest. It's very common to see Dominula work with a co-foundress like you saw with the Polistes fuscatus earlier in the video but so far she seems to be on her own and she does an excellent job. It's like a paper mache material and so she's able to engineer this nest from scratch one little load at a time flying back to the nest with a little ball of wood pulp and she'll make many many trips like this with a ball of wood pulp on each trip until she has multiple cells made sometimes with the help of a co-foundress sometimes not but eventually the first generation of worker wasps which are infertile females will be born in these cells once that first generation of female workers is born they will take over the nest maintenance duties and the queen or the foundress will focus on laying most of the eggs now, there are times when 
Infertile female workers will also attempt to lay eggs in the nest, but they'll be eaten by the queen or the foundress, and this is how she maintains dominance and also controls the number of male wasps born on the nest. The males shouldn't be born until later in the season, but if the infertile wasps attempt to lay an egg, they will be males. So the queen wasp will put a stop to that if she sees it until the right time of the year. Here you see a knife and axe throwing target set up and some wood is also down below the target to protect the barn. And here we find another local beneficial wasp, a Polistes fuscatus, it looks like, building a little nest behind a piece of that wood. Obviously we'll have to relocate this nest at some point during the season because behind a target is a bad place for any wasp nest to be. And this target's probably gonna get a pretty good workout this season. Yeah. Bullseye. Nicely done.